everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and I'm very excited to have you here on this lovely Monday and today we are going to be doing my April Owl Crate unboxing. So I actually have no idea what is in this this month. I didn't even look at spoilers so I don't know who I think I am but let's get into this because I'm very excited for this. I don't have any scissors this time around so this is very unsatisfying. All right let's open this baby up. Oh my god. Well, that was uneventful. And whoa. So let's see. This month's theme was Ruthless Rivals. This is the spoiler card that comes with every single book. And we will go through this card as we go through what is inside the box. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing on top is a little bag of coffee from Fable Grounds Coffee. Uh, it is Cinnamon Owl Crate Hazelnut Exclusive. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love cinnamon. Hazelnut it is one of those combinations that just remind me of fall. And I'm very excited for this. And let's read what the spoiler card has to say about it. Fablegrounds Coffee crafted a deliciously indulgent cinnamon hazel coffee blend inspired by the magical competition in Where Dreams Descend. Quite a yummy way to stay awake and keep reading when night breaks once it releases this summer. Super cute. I absolutely love it. Next thing I'm pulling out is this little case. I don't know what's in it, but let's find out. It says the stars incline us. They do not bind us. And then I'm assuming that says that in like Latin, but... That is so cute. And inside, chopsticks. I think these are chopsticks, but let me look and see. Oh, they're chopsticks. Share a romantic meal with your bitter, yet sometimes infuriatingly attractive rival. This chopstick set designed by paperback bones and inspired by these violent delights. So that is super cute. Um, let's see, there's two different colors in here and they both say different things. So this one says the white flowers. This will not focus, but this one says the white flowers and then the red and gold ones say the Scarlet Gang. So that is super cute. I love this little holder too. It's definitely so cute and so beautiful. And I'm very excited to read these Violent Delights actually. Oh my God, it's a game to rock your bookish brain, y'all. Okay, let me open this. I don't have any scissors today. This was a bad day to not have scissors apparently. Pretend like you didn't just see me. Okay, so cute. This is like a sparkly boxing, which I'm kind of in love with. It's super cute. Opening it. The youngest player goes first and play continues clockwise. The person to the left of the player draws a card and reads the category aloud. Once finished reading, the timer is started. The player must give five answers to the card's category before 30 seconds is up. The first player to earn 10 points is the winner. I feel like this entire video is gonna be on me opening packaging, so. Oh, those are cute. So this one says book titles beginning with the first letter of your name, books that end in cliffhangers, fictional siblings. Oh, I just dropped the cards on the floor. But oh my gosh, that is adorable. If only I had bookish friends. No, I'm sad. So, but these are super cute. It makes me wish I had some bookish friends in real life we could play with, but Oh well, I guess I'll just play these games. <laughs> but these are super cute. I love them. Let's read a little bit about them. And I have hair in my face. Enjoy challenging your fellow bookworms to this game of literary lists with our Etchetra card game designed exclusively for Owl Crate. We can't wait to see which creative categories you come up with on the special blank card. Be sure to tag us. This is super cute. I'm very excited for it. Next thing I'm pulling out is this little bag. It says, history has its eyes on you. That is such a cute little bag, look at that. Let's open it up, see what's inside. It's one of those little wallets for your phone. Ah, look at that. And then it says the same thing. Hold on, I'm trying to like pull it. Oh, you can, so. History has its eyes on you, how cute is that? That's freaking adorable. Let's see what it says. With our Hamilton-inspired phone wallet designed by Lady Chubb Letters, you can conveniently track your ID cards, stash, and key safely inside a socially distanced night out with fellow revelations. This is so cute and I love it. 
Next thing is the pen, but I'm actually not going to look at that because I don't want to know what the book is, and I'm actually going to turn this book around so I don't get it out of the corner of my eye. Um, next, I don't know what this is, but let's find out. This is another tapestry. I'm about to have so many of them, and I literally have not hung one of them up, and it's probably a problem. Oh, it's a pillow cover. I love pillow covers. I have several pillows in my office that are bookish. Conquer your fear, and you can conquer the world. That's adorable. First of all, look at that. Look at that. That is so cute. It has like roses and stuff on it. Okay, let me read a little bit about this. Good news, girl, gentle friends. You can channel a bit of Mia Carver in your decor, 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 in your decor with this Nevernight inspired throw pillowcase. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I've actually never read Nevernight, but I love this and it makes me want to read it. So cute. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here before I show you the pin. So, so for the pin, my hair is looking crazy. I apologize. We have, oh, this isn't even going to give me a guess at what it is. Has a book, a necklace. It looks like a shark or something and a mirror. It reminds me of the Little Mermaid kind of. This is this month's pin. It has all these little ink designs on it. Super cute. And I'm not in the spoiler card for the pin. As you read, read this month's book, keep a keen eye on the meaningful elephants that icy designs included in this month's enamel pin. So let's go for the book. Ooh, which is steeped in gold. Holy how. This book is freaking beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Ah, oh, that is so pretty. Araya has spent her life in a cell, heir to the overthrown and magically gifted dynasty. She was exiled from her home on the island nation of Aisa when just a child. But every day brings her closer to freedom and vengeance. Jasmine grew up dressed in gold and stolen magic at her fingertips. Daughter of the self-crowned Doyen, her existence is a threat to her mother's rule. But unlike her sister before her, Jasmine has no intention of dying to strengthen her mother's power. Sworn enemies, the two witches, enter a deadly alliance to take down the woman who threatens both of their worlds. But revenge is a bloody pursuit and nothing is certain except the links Ayura and Jasmine will go through to win this game. And then we also have a little author's note, which I will read right now because I like to read them and I love to keep these as a little keepsake just for, you know, why not? Dearest Owls, I think we can all agree that witches rule. I knew this as a kid, hearing cut my teeth on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Everything changed, however, during a family trip to Jamaica when I learned about Annie Palmer, the White Witch of Rose Hall, alleged to have killed all three of her husbands with a dark, deliciously taboo branch of magic. She wasn't the typical obsession of a 12-year-old. Murder aside, I was hooked, and when years later I carved an immersive fantasy experience similar to those found in the books gathered in this epic box, there was no doubt as to what it would be about. Witches Steeped in Goad is an ode to my love of magic and island tales. As much as a lullaby as it is Battle of Cry, I hope that its lyrical storytelling and foundations forged for my childhood soothes your soul, but I, but I also... In, intend for this twisty knife in the heart of a book to be an unforgettable chorus one i hope you think about feel about long after the melody has reached its end and while i'm over the moon to welcome you to the coven dear reader don't ever forget trust no witch ah that is so cute oh my god she sounds so nice too so i'm very excited to be able to read this and then finally in this lovely box, we get this lovely little card that says a lot of stuff in it about this month's book. So we have a little interview with the author. So it looks like our edition of Witches Steeped in Gold added dark black to the background and bronze gold elements in a deeper shade of gold in the font. And it is also a foil case. And honestly, I love the Owl Crate edition. The other edition has like green in it. And I just feel like the bronze looks so much better. Now on the next page, we just have some bookish ways to stay connected. And then if you like Witches Steeped in Gold, there are some books you might like. And then a interview with one of the little vendors. 
a photo box challenge for April and then a playlist and other books that they're excited for. So this is always super cute. And very last, we have this little card that is a sneak peek of what we're going to get next month. So I have a theme of the Mayboxes, Expect the Uninspected, and it is like this ocean theme. And I'm obsessed. And then a sneak peek is every box will include an officially licensed Lee Bardugo item from out of print. I own quite a few bookish shirts now, so I'm excited for that. Alright everybody, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know if you're planning on subscribing to Owl Crate because there's a link down below. You can just click it, make your life easier so you don't got to type all that stuff in. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful, great day. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a super big like. Make sure you comment down below and tell me if you're getting this box or if you love this month's box or if you're planning on reading the book that we got this month. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I upload every Monday and Thursday if I don't miss it at 11.45 a.m. Eastern Time. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.